So I think as many of you probably know, I hurt my knee at Wimbledon. Um, and since then, it's kind of continued to bother me um, on and off through the past couple of months. But um, during that time, I've still done, you know, basically what I can for my tennis. Uh, I've been serving every day. I've been, you know, hitting on occasions when it's fe when it feels when it's felt good. Um, and I've been having Josh here most weeks, and he's been working on me, you know, once twice a day to try to get my knee better. Working on his uh, knee, we've got some patellar tendonitis, and I've got him hooked up to. Um, some electrical stem with some dry needles placed in his quad and his patellar tendon and the reason for that is to try to get the tendon to speed up with its healing, drive some circulation in there, kind of disrupt the scar tissue, basically trying to just speed the healing process with every tool that we have here. I've been able to put a lot of time in the gym though and I think that that's going to really help my game obviously with you know my knee being sort of an impairment. Um, I haven't been able to maybe do as much weight as I would have liked. Uh, or strength just because I can't but I think that you know I can make up for that in doing a lot more stability work I can still work out my upper body my core and that sort of thing so I think that's going to be a big improvement in my game hopefully I'll be able to be back on the court before year, year's end so during my time off I've been having a lot of time to do other things and um, one of those things includes reading so you know I enjoy to read and um, Right now I'm reading Security Analysis, which is basically, you know, considered the Bible of uh, value investing. 